In this video, we're going to reveal the seven signs of osteoporosis you are probably ignoring. Osteoporosis is a condition in which bones become brittle. Bone mass deteriorates and sufferers also experience bone tissue loss. It is a common condition experienced by people 65 and over, especially women. Osteoporosis is also nearly asymptomatic. Most people don't realize that they have it until they experience the most common effect of the disease, fracture. According to a study out of East Virginia Medical School in 2016, fractures that happen due to osteoporosis require more hospital time than other breaks and are more costly. Osteoporosis is something that it is important to be aware of as you age so that you can take steps to prevent it. Remember, it is not something that you'll feel happening, but you will sure feel that unexpected fracture. Following are seven signs that might point to osteoporosis. The first sign is age. Once you reach age 50, it's time to start talking to your doctor about risk factors for osteoporosis. Dietary supplementation, including more calcium, may be recommended. Women older than 65 and men older than 70 should be screened on an annual basis. Additionally, any person over the age of 50 who has had a fracture needs to be tested routinely for osteoporosis. The second sign is certain medication effect. It's not just age, but certain lifestyle factors that can also influence osteoporosis. Medications like steroids, inject able contraceptives, and some cancer treatments also increase the risk. Basic medicines for things like depression or heartburn may also up your risk of osteoporosis, but that doesn't mean you should stop taking them. Talk to your doctor. He or she may recommend an additional supplement to support your bone health and cancel out the effect of the primary medication. The third sign is loss of height. Loss of height and astute posture often come along with age and they can signal osteoporosis. Noteworthy changes include a loss of two or more inches of height or a new curvature in the spine. These changes can mean that osteoporosis has affected your spine. Once you have reached age 50, ask for a height measurement at every wellness checkup. Before we continue to the next point, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn all notifications on. These actions really help to support the channel. The next sign of osteoporosis is vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is critical to bone health because it helps the body to absorb calcium. New research has also pointed to the importance of vitamin D for preventing cardiovascular disease, cancer, and cognitive impairment. If you have a deficiency, you might experience bone pain or muscle weakness, but these symptoms are often mild. Vitamin D synthesizes in the body when your skin is exposed to sun, so many people experience a deficiency during winter months or if they live in northern latitudes. Food sources of vitamin D are mostly animal-based, including egg yolks, fish and fish oils, fortified milk, and beef liver. If you are a strict vegan, the risk of vitamin D deficiency is higher. The fifth sign is high levels of serum calcium or alkaline phosphatase on a blood test. This test is just one measure your doctor might take to determine if you are experiencing bone loss. It can determine whether a vitamin D deficiency might be affecting your bones and whether certain bone cancers are present. It can also be used to rule out Paget's disease, which affects how your bones grow. This test is also commonly used to look for signs of liver disorder. The sixth sign of osteoporosis that you are probably ignoring is joint or muscle aches. 
Osteoporosis develops silently, so you will probably not experience pain before the disease has advanced. Still, there are some side effects of osteoporosis that can cause discomfort. Stress fractures and small cracks in the bone can occur in the course of daily life, and these may cause an achy feeling. As you begin to lose height and your vertebrae compress closer together, you will likely experience soreness in your back. And if a small fracture occurs in the ribs, it may press a nerve against a rib. Another signal of osteoporosis is muscle weakness due to loosened connections with the bones that support them. You may notice this as difficulty getting up from a chair without a push with your arms. The last sign is fracture. Unfortunately, the first sign that you might have osteoporosis is often a fracture. In fact, fracture is the most common early symptom. When the bones have thinned and become brittle, even mild impact will cause a fracture. And sometimes, because the impact that caused the injury was so minor, people don't realize that they have broken a bone until ongoing pain sends them to the doctor. Signs that you have experienced a fragility-related fracture include pain and swelling immediately after an impact or fall. This is usually fairly obvious. If it appears that an area of your body is out of alignment, that's another sign. If you feel pain, especially in your back, that persists for several weeks, it may also indicate a fracture, even if you can't think back to a specific event that caused it. Conclusion. Aches and pains are expected as you age, and not necessarily a sign of osteoporosis, but it's still a good idea to talk about it with your doctor. In a study of over 47,000 women with a fragility fracture, only one in five knew that they had osteoporosis beforehand. And surprisingly, very few of the women went on to take follow-up steps to prevent further fractures. Steps that you can take right now to lower the risk of osteoporosis, no matter your age, include boosting your intake of calcium and vitamin D, avoiding smoking and excessive drinking, and participating in regular weight-bearing exercise. For the most protection, it's best to make these behaviors a habit by age 30. But even if you missed that boat, it's never too late to make a difference. The comfort with which you age depends on it. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we wish you great health, wealth, and happiness. We are not doctors, and this video is for informational purposes only.